all righty what is going on ladies and gents welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said let's go over some ta all right guys so yes we have an intraday update here for you guys today why are we doing that because your boy has spotted some things on the charts that i don't think are going to change i think we could spend a little time down here but in the end, I do think we are getting ready for a move up or at least some sort of bounce here. I'm going to go over why. All right. But first things first, we're going to start off here with Spine QQ. I'm just going to go over what I'm seeing right now. And then I'm going to go over, uh, you know, the beans and potatoes of the video, which are going to be the main components of Spy and QQQ. All right. So starting off with here, we got the fit, uh, the hour, hourly time frame right here. I do want to point out this Fibonacci retracement was taken from this low to this high. All right, you have a low, you have a high, you have a low, you have a high. Guess what? This low to this high, you're finding buyers right there at the 0.786. On the 15 minute time frame, you slightly gave it up. But guess what? We do have our demand zone sitting down there, which has not changed in quite some time because you, you know, we had it over here, right here. We had it over here, right here. You're finding buyers in the same exact zone. Your 15 minute RSI is oversold. You are curling back up. If you can break above this 497.04 level, that is the level I was watching for earlier to start a trend change on the five minute time frame. We did not get that trend change, but I will remind you guys, guys, just wait for the divergences. All right. Uh, they, you know, pop up on the five minute time frame almost every single reversal. And um, I do think it is a tool that, you know, people could literally just watch out for. And yeah, it'll it'll do you right. All right, it will do you good. You can literally see it mark the bottom here. All right, maybe I thought the bottom would be coming a little bit sooner, but we I can't say we had a lot of signs suggesting buyers were going to be stepping up right here. We don't have a 15 minute, uh, you actually do have a slight 15 minute bullish diverge between this candlestick and this candlestick. That is something to take note of. I'm just putting it out there. I think a bounce is incoming. I do. All right, I'm going to go over in the rest of the video why I think that is really going to be the case. And it's not here on this chart right here. It's not. All right, coming over here to QQQ, you got the same thing going on. All right, you can see this was the level that I was paying to, uh, attention to earlier. Now, guys, you have put in a higher high. So now you come down, you put in a higher low, you take out this, this high that wherever you put it in, and boom, there's your five minute trend change. What do we also have here on the five minute time frame? You also have that sick, nasty bullish divergence going on. Guys, I understand this looks so ugly, but all you had to do is wait for this bullish divergence and it would have, you know, treated you well. All right, so uh, you come over here to the 15 minute time frame. You can see we're relatively oversold over there as well. You're curling up. Guess what? You know, bounce incoming with all likelihood. All right. Now I'm going to come over here to Mr. Vix, and this is something I was pointing out earlier to the Discord. Guys, even if you, uh, like I, I went into today, I actually gave the Discord this. I, I'll give you a little sneak peek of what we are going to be discussing here. All right, guys, so you come over here, and these are my thoughts going into the day right here. Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Apple, guys. Downside is limited, okay? So we're going to be going over what I just, that paragraph I just typed up. All right, that was uh, before market open this morning. So going into this, you know, this this open, I was like, hey, guys, things are actually looking like uh, downside is limited, all right? So we're bullish on the dip. Uh, I'm just going to put it out there. VIX's RSI is all the way up at 60 already. Guys, this was up at 62, up at high of day here. If it does keep going, guys, if we have like a, another red day on SPY, guys, VIX's RSI is going to be up above 65. You're going to have a lot of people clowning me again for just reminding you guys that, you know, it stalls out up here. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to prove the haters wrong again because that's that's that so you know if we do have another down day on spy i don't think it's the start of some massive move down i think a lot of people are going to be just short in the hole like they normally do and then uh yeah here in the channel we're gonna we're gonna be calling that action all right and you know hopefully you're on the right side of these things hopefully i'm on the right side of these these, these things but i'm just going to show you guys what i want to get into here which is going to be with extended hours on apple all right, let's actually start off with AMD. First things first, AMD, four-hour RSI is down in oversold territory. You came down to your demand zone. This is where buyers stepped in here. All right, I'm just going to say right now, you could sell your AMD position right now if you want. I think you're uh, you're going to get a much better exit. I think you we're probably going to pop but quickly back up like you did over here, like you did over here, like you did over here, like you did over here. I think that is likely going to be the case from here. All right, but the, really what I want to talk about right here is big boy Apple. All right. Now, if you're not new to the channel, then you know I've been talking about Apple these past uh, three trading sessions. Why? Because I think we're putting in the bottom. I think downside is limited. I think this is uh, this is where some action is about to be here in the market. All right. Now, Apple has been following as 
the stock market has been rising. Well, guess what? Flip the switch. And uh, yeah, Apple very well could run as the stock market continues to fall. I am focused on this Apple setup. Why? Because this thing looks, you know, to me, it looks immaculate, guys. I, you know, like trading reversals. I'm pretty good at catching reversals. And I'll tell you right now, you could have bought an Apple's, uh, you know, by two months out, you could have bought an Apple's daily RSI at 30 for the last few years. Yeah, never mind. Not the last few years. We're talking like, you know, since it's freaking exception, uh, inception over here, you could have just kept doing it and you're going to catch some sort of bounce. All right. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I think I'm about to catch a big bounce. I actually just added to that. All right. Two more on the 190s. I'm just going to say right now, you have a four hour bullish divergence going on here. The last two bottoms were marked with these bullish divergences. Okay. Now at the same time, I pointed out that you had this 200 SMA. All right, you got the 200 daily moving average over here. Simple moving average. Come over there. We're going to make that a white line. That's why I like my 200 on. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to hit 200. All right, and what do we have here, guys? A slight over uh, underthrow here, just like you had over here. This is a $4, $3 drop over here. Here was your $4 drop. Well, guess what, guys? If you have your $4 drop, you're just going to come down here and probably find buyers here on this downsloping trend line slash your support down here. All right. At the same time, I'll point this out. Four hour bullish diverge going down there. That was your warning sign that you were going to get the last two pops. Okay. Uh, you can take it back to the fourth last major bottom that got put on an apple. Guess what? There was a bullish divergence in there. Ever so slight, baby. It was there. What do you got going on here? You got the bullish divergence just carving out here. I'm not saying. All right, I'm not saying we're going to begin an absolute massive pop here. I am just putting it out there. I think Apple is going to be returning over here. And it's probably going to get a massive pop here. I'm just putting it out there. Next chart we're going to be taking a look at is going to be over here on Mr. Goog. Mr. Goog looks immaculate. Mr. Goog is over here in a downsloping channel. And your four-hour RSI was coming off of uh, oversold territory. We're going to take off that 200 MA because it's not important to me right now. I'm just going to point this out, guys. This is where you're looking for buyers to step in over here on Mr. Goog. Okay, you did have an uptrend break. So maybe we're just going back to back test that uptrend, uh, the, you know, broken uptrend. So previous, uh, I have no idea, but I'm not looking for, you know, a major sell to come on the indices right here, right now. I think we're going to begin the bounce and I hope I'm, you know, I'm making myself pretty clear here. Guys, all right, either we're going to fall a little lower and then you're going to get a big bounce. All right, because of what I'm showing you here, or we're going to start getting that big bounce right now. That's what I'm looking at. Goog. About to have a fresh downtrend break, channel break, whatever you want to refer to this as. This thing's looking bullish. The thing looks like it's just getting started. All right, and potentially you could have that thing loaded, and we could potentially be seeing a move back up to four, uh, 148 up there. All right, but Goog, so that's number two out of the like four four main components what's the other one we got a little guy named microsoft and what's going on here well going into the open all right i was saying hey 1.5 percent from where you were right here that was where your support was you were going to have your demand zone down there you were going to have the four hour rsi being oversold if it got down here and then what are we looking for maybe it's slightly you know under undershoots that Okay, well, I guess overshoots that. Go maybe maybe it sweeps the lows a little bit, sweeps some liquidity, and then you're probably gonna get your decent pop. All right. You also had this hourly bullish uh, bullish falling wedge going on here. All right, you could really point it out right there. Doesn't really look uh, all too bad to me. These charts don't look terrible, and I understand we're using extended hours. Okay. In, in terms of just watching clean intraday price action, guys, please use just regular hours. But in terms of pointing out and you know seeing things like i like i like to keep my eyes on all this why because they give me my warning signs all right um but yeah you already had the bullish diverge going in here so if you came down here i was i was expecting you're probably going to get buyer stepping and now you have the triple bullish diverge going on there all right so that's microsoft now now we've discussed three of them okay what about the fourth all right what about the fourth what about mr amazon what is amazon doing it's amazon literally just sitting right here at a previous, uh, you know, previous resistance. It's trying to flip it into support. I'm not going to say it's the sexiest look, but you're literally just grinding it up over here. And again, four hour RSI is all, all, all the way over there, guys. All right. I'm not saying this thing doesn't look like it could sell down here. All right. 162. And then you'd have an oversold RSI as well. It would be a break and retest. But, you know, if you get that move, you're going to get a big bounce from there with all likelihood. Okay. So 
You know, guys, things don't look too bad to me. They really do not. They don't look terrible. You look like you have a potential wedge actually forming right here. Let's see if that becomes clear on the hourly time frame. It does become clear on the hourly time frame. Look at that. All right, guys. So I don't think things look terrible. I told you guys, if we have another red day on SPY, VIX is going to somehow be up here. The RSI is going to be up here. And you're going to have a bunch more people calling for a crash. And your boy over here is going to have to sound like a freaking clown for the time being. Because I'm going to be a contrarian. And I'm going to tell you guys, hey, every single time this has happened over the last three years, we have been calling for SPY to start bouncing from here and VIX start cooling off from here. The VIX crush, baby. Well, last time we called in, I had to look like a short-term idiot. Guess what? We're talking, we got a VIX crush of 20%, baby. All right, I'm fine with looking like that short-term idiot. I just need you guys to understand, price action does need to develop. When I see things, I will say things, but price action always needs to develop, just like down here. Guys, I, you know, didn't know you were going to get buyers stepping in down here. I just knew if you were going to get buyers stepping in, it was probably going to be right down here. So we're obviously going to be looking for some something telling us buyers are going to be stepping in right down here. All right, two bounce spots going today was going to be 498. It was going to be 496. All right, you opened right here. You found sellers at your zone up there. So you went to the next one. Zone to zone, baby. Zone to zone. All right, on QQQ, guess what? If you broke down underneath the 427.50 level or over here, your 0.786 fib from here to here, probably having 100% retracement. You're probably coming down here. To 425. Where'd you come at 425? But that was your all right. Buyer's last resort. That is where you need to hold the line. Where are buyers holding the line right here. Would you end up putting in a bullish divergence over here on the hourly RSI? I'm not saying it holds. I am just pointing out that it is there. And along with all the other supporting evidence that I have, you know, just pointed out here in this video, yeah, I do think we're probably gonna be getting a bounce. All right. Now, with that being said, guys, let's talk about some individual setups. All right, we got some juicy stuff loading, so let's talk about it. All right, first one. I am not sure we're going to get this opportunity, but I am saying coin is loading. All right, coin is loading for that break and retest. And if we do get that entry, guess what? It was already up 30 bucks from this level. That is a 20% move. There you go. I would not be playing short data contracts on this one, but guess what? You could do whatever you want with your money. There you go. All right, next one we're going to talk about is XOM. All right, XOM is going to take some time, but I do think it's loading. I do think you are eventually going to be breaking above this 105, 104.88 level is what I have. I think that is going to be the high of this candlestick right here. Nope, 104.91, 104.57, 104.88. I knew it had to have been one of them. Guess what? All right, you're waiting for that break over 104.88. You want a weekly close, and once you do get a weekly close, you're probably going to be going for a ride. All right, you're probably going to be going for something like that ride. All right, even if it closes right here at 106, you get that late entry, you're probably still going to get a ride. All right, so something to be paying attention to on the weekly time frame. Set your alert, just like I am doing right here in this video right now. All right, you can do exactly what we just did. Guys, honestly, you know, if you're new to the charts, follow along with what we cover in this video. I guarantee if you replicate what I put on my charts each video, if you just take the time, yes, it will take time. You're going to have to pause my videos. You're going to have to go do this on your own charts. I guarantee that is the quickest way you're going to be learning. All right. Aside from obviously just, you know, coming in and talking to me and, you know, getting all my intraday analysis and stuff like that and watching how I do things and then going through the educational videos, there is going to be that. So if you want to fast track, there's that. But I am going to suggest, all right, hey, if you don't want to take that route, do what I just said. Take the time. Mimic what I do on my charts, and you're going to pick things up. I guarantee it. All right. I'm actually going to point this one, Avgo. All right. This is one that I was going to put on the focus list, but you already did start breaking it down. And honestly, I'd rather just look for long opportunities on Avgo instead of short opportunities. Buyers are going to be stepping in. It's going to be right here in the golden pocket. But what do you? What am I going to be really looking at? Four-hour RSI. We're waiting for that thing to get tapped because every time over the last uh, you know, year here, yeah, that is provided your bottom. So, uh, yeah, we're looking at that. This alert right here on the RSI, we're looking at that to be hit. I understand. Oh, you're looking at a lagging indicate. Guys, I'm looking at a condition. All right, if the condition wants to get hit, and the condition has brought something in the past, you know, every single time for the last year, we're going to be expecting that condition to happen this time until proven otherwise. Same thing with being bullish on the indices until we're not bullish. Guys, this thing doesn't have to bounce back up, all right? We could put in some sell side structures, but right now, here on the hourly time frame, you don't got it, all right? All you got right now 
low. High. Higher low right here at the bottom of the golden pocket. That's perfect. All right. If you somehow get buyers stepping in here and you go like that, you're back in a bull trend. Like a straight up full on bull trend. But let's just really track this. High. Low. No, I'm idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes. I will not deny, all right? But that's how I know. Guys, if I'm an idiot and I can do this, then you guys guaranteed can do this better than me. Because if you're not an idiot and I'm an idiot and I got this far, then you're going to go farther, all right? It's just how that works. Low. High. Low. High. Higher low, ever so slightly. High. Low. What happens if you take out the high, higher high, guys? All right, so we'll still maintain that uptrend. I'm just putting it out there, guys. Be bullish until proven otherwise on this market because, uh, you know, it, it could eat you. It could eat you alive, and I understand you could be missing a big short opportunity. Like, you come over here on SMCI, you could be missing something like that, but then you also just have to realize, hey, every time you would have taken a shot over the last few months, you would have died. All right, your position just would have died and it wouldn't have came back your short position because you just kept going higher. And guys, we don't know this thing's rolling over until we have proof that it's rolling over. I'll let you guys know when we have proof it's rolling over. It ain't rolling over yet. All right, it could. All right, but now what we really need to see is you're going to need to see this high hold. You got this low. You have you need this high right here to hold. So not this one. You need this one to hold. And you come down here and you need to undercut this low, the low of. 490.72. At that point, I understand you missed that, but now you wait for the bounce and you short that bounce. And there is your, you know, low risk, high probability bet right there. All right. That's the short bet that I would be waiting on until proven otherwise. You're looking for long opportunities. At least I'm looking for long opportunities. All right. You guys don't have to be doing anything you don't want to do. There's that. All right. Let's uh, look at one more. AI, all right? So AI is kind of in the perfect spot. This is where I was looking for buyers to step in. So far, they are stepping in. I can't guarantee they are going to be, you know, continuing this. They're, they're, I can't guarantee they're going to get continuation off of that bounce. But I will point out, this is the exact spot that I was watching. My alert did get hit earlier today, all right? So if you would like to take your shot long and you watched our trade idea, you know, really perform over here and you literally went straight from here, down here, to the golden pocket, all right? If you saw that, guess what? And you didn't and you didn't play it. Here's your second shot. Okay, I'm not saying it's going to hold up right here, but you want to hold anywhere from 25.50 to 27 bucks. That's going to be your golden pocket. I just want to point this one out, all right? If you want to get in a little earlier, just know you do have earnings, so that is the cost here. You are completely gambling, but but will I say this is not a sexy and uh, real juicy looking setup? No, I won't say. I, I think this thing is a really juicy and sexy looking setup. Um, take these alerts off there. Um, but yeah, I'm just pointing out there, guys, you have earnings literally tomorrow after the bell. And yeah, this thing could get some life into it. And if it does get some life into it, we'll be bullish on that pullback and then looking for something like that. All right. If, if you gap up right here, regardless, neckline is at 1686. It's going to be the high right here at uh, 1684 over here at 1686. All right, and that's what you're paying attention to. But overall, very sexy looking base, inverse head and shoulders formation you got going on here. You actually have two heads here. All right, but I, I like it. All right, next one we're going to be watching, Carvana. Now, you are getting buyers stepping up right here, but we're watching it down here, okay? Because if you do get that, you know, additional sell down SPY, guys, this is what I'm saying. A lot of these setups are just going to set up for us. And a lot of people are going to get perma bearish on us, and we're going to say, hey, your time is not yet. I mean, no, nobody should get perma bearish, okay? But you, you'll have a time to be really bearish. And it's it's not just yet. It could be just yet. We have NVIDIA earnings on Wednesday. And honestly, guys, that's where the, the next market move comes off of NVIDIA earnings, all right? It does. I don't know which way it's going to go. My guess is going to be up. Uh, CELH, break and retest. I want to outline this weekly setup. This thing looks immaculate. All right, we're going to delete that alert right there. It looks great. It looks like you're going to be consolidating here. Maybe you come back, pull back into this zone. 62 bucks is 60 bucks. Find buyers. Boom. Back off to all-time highs. Uh, so, yeah, definitely one I am watching for. You can see my alert right here. I am waiting on that entry. If I get it, I think this, this is a very sexy setup. All right? I think this thing has momentum behind it. I think it's very likely we're going to be shooting up to these all-time highs. All right. With that being said... 
I will catch you all in the next one. I will point out this thing is literally just still consolidating here, but you come over here to XLF and guess what? You're up here at the highs. Do you want to be playing it? I don't know. All right. Don't have any signs that, you know, you're rolling over here, just like I pointed out in the indices. Um, and yeah, some of these banks could get some life into them. All right, guys. So with that being said, I will catch you all in the next one. Congrats to anybody who faded SMCI. I can almost guarantee most of you guys did not because uh, it, it was scary. All right, to fade, fade the beast. All right, guys. Any other time you tried fading the beast, every other day for the last, you know, over a month here. No, just literally a month here. You you got wrecked. All right. So I d guys, don't feel bad if you didn't short the beast. I definitely didn't short the beast. Um, we knew it was coming at some point, but at the same time, don't feel bad about it because you have no idea when this is actually going to happen, guys. That's 20 trading sessions that it just kept going up. All right. It's, you know, these rollovers don't, don't even, I, why are you going to try and stress yourself out with them? All right. Just watch for the high probability setups that we will be calling out here on the channel pretty regularly. All right. Ah, up a dollar from the ad. Ah, beautiful. All right. Beautiful. Now I would like to see some ball through and let, let these things get back up and running here. And D, that's when I'm, uh, I was debating. Uh, I don't want to just sit here. I mean, I'm just going to say, if you're going to add like March 15 AMD calls or March 15 Apple calls, it literally is right here. Okay. It's right here. Like on, on a bunch of these big names, you know, you had your opportunity here. And like, if you were going to add the data calls and like call BS on this whole crash narrative, it was going to be this morning. All right. So, uh, does this thing not look beautiful? It does. All right, guys, with that being said, I hope everybody has a lovely rest of their day, and I will catch you all in the next one. If you would like to come trade with us over in the Discord and get access to the intraday updates, the intraday analysis, link is down in the description, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.